Before we starting, please have a look at this. I'm holding a Lumia 640 device. Its default factory OS is Windows Phone 8.1. But you can see it's now running Windows 10. To prove it, let's go to Settings, System, About. And here you can see the software version is Windows 10 Mobile. So let's begin. Hi there guys, welcome back. It's been a long time since we have done something specially for Windows Phone users. So I think it's time to do another. Today we're going to be showing you how to upgrade any window phone to Windows Phone 10 or Windows 10 Mobile. I know I have made a similar video in the past, but that method doesn't exist anymore or it can only give you the developer's preview of Windows 10. But with this official and latest method, you can upgrade your old Windows Phone 8 or 8.1 to the latest Windows 10 Mobile. Don't think twice, it is a full version without any bugs and we are all doing it the official way. Before we starting the instructional part, let me just tell you a couple of things. Even I mentioned this method will work for all the window phones, but I really meant to say that it will work for the majority of window phones from the past few years. To check if your model is compatible for this upgrade, please have a look at this. These are all the Windows 10 upgrade compatible devices officially. If you identify your model here, then you are good to go, otherwise you're out of luck. We hope Microsoft will announce the software version for Windows 10 Mobile for your particular model as well. You can also check the device upgradeability in the video description as well. I hope all you have your window phones fully charged or connected to a power source is very important. I recommend you to keep your phones connected to a charger throughout the procedure, otherwise there is a high risk. Because when we're doing upgrades, especially while the installation process, if the power of your battery goes down, it will crash your phone and your phone will end up in a state of malfunction. Don't worry, we can recover it even if that's the case. But it's better to take proper precautions before attempting something like this. And the next thing you have to do is to make sure you have backed up all the important files and contacts to an external source or even to the cloud, if you have something that important. And the final thing you have to do is get your phone connected to a proper internet connection like I'm suggesting you to connect to your Wi-Fi source. Otherwise, you can use your phone data as well. If you have done all the above mentioned things, then we are pretty much ready to go with the upgrade. First, I will prove you this particular window phone is currently at system software version window phone 8.1. Also, I suggest you to get the latest update for your current operating system. For example, if your phone has Windows 8, go to Settings, Update and check for updates. And I think there is nothing more to warn you about, so let's jump straight into the upgrade. Go to the App Store and download this app called Upgrade Advisor. If you haven't seen in the store, there will be a direct link in the video description that will get you straight into the app page. So go ahead and install it. Once it's finished, you can open the app. Now follow my instructions. As you can see, we have launched the app and the first thing you have to do here is to check if the Windows 10 upgrade is available for your particular phone. If your device falls under the model numbers which I showed you earlier, then you don't have to worry because there will be an upgrade available for you for sure. So click on next and it will do the Windows 10 upgrade availability checkup. It will only take a few seconds. And here we go. As you can see, luckily my phone is ready for this Windows 10 upgrade. You can see this green check mark and the upgrade available message seems a very good sign to me. If there is a Windows 10 build available for your device, you will be also land onto the same page. Hope you all have an upgrade available, so let's continue. Tick the box here which says enable Windows 10 upgrade. Now simply click on next. Now we'll check for the updates, it will also take a few seconds. As you can see, this phone is ready for the upgrade, it's found the update files. So you can touch then and the app will close itself, because it's already served its purpose. Now you need to go to the phone settings and navigate to phone update and here we go. And you can see it's already started downloading the files for the upgrade, because I already said automatically download updates if my data setting allow it. If yours doesn't start yet, just start the updates download manually and wait until it finishes. These update files may take a while to download in some case, but actually it depends on your internet speed. For comparison, I'm using a 25 Mbps connection to do this upgrade and if you have a great connection, you can grab the updates faster, otherwise it will take longer. To give you more light on this, let me tell you the Windows 10 mobile software is approximately near 2 gigs or let's say around 1.75 GBs. 
As you can see, it's downloaded the updates and it started the preparation for installing the updates. I think this will take a while, so let's wait until it does. And here we go. It's just finished the preparation, so touch on the install button and you will get here. It is a service agreement form from Microsoft. If you want to read, just scroll it down as you read or just click on accept to start the process instantly and your form will restart. And you can see it's begins the Windows 10 upgrade and you can check the progress of the process by simply analyzing the process bar under the spinning gears. Hope you all are connected your phone to a power source unless you have confidence for your battery life. It will reboot your phone several times while the process, so don't get panic and don't do anything stupid. The whole upgrade thing is gonna take a long time, so I suggest you to leave your phone alone until it's finishing. Meanwhile, you can watch something or browse the web or do anything as you please. For me, it's a mood to play something in the meanwhile, so see you guys once it does. Have a great time. Hey guys, I'm back and it seems we are almost done. It says we are getting there. And you can see it's migrating data to the new OS and getting things ready for you. It will also take some time, so have some patience. Let's leave the device for a few more minutes and I think that's all you have to wait until you enjoy your new Windows Phone 10. So see you once it does. Welcome back, we have just upgraded to the latest and greatest Windows 10 successfully and it took me 55 minutes without counting the update download time. You can see the new user interface or the new look of your phone. Of course, it comes with tons of new features and some refreshed all features as well. I know you're excited to try it, so I'm leaving that part to you. Explore more and enjoy. Meanwhile, let me go to settings, system, about and here is the proof. You can see now my Lumia 640 is running on the latest Windows 10 mobile. If you feel the video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. As well as subscribe to the channel to see more similar contents. If you think it helps others as it helped you, why not give it a share as well. It's me your host Samarafi from Geeks Tutorial. See you soon with another one.